Hello my dear children. This is part 5 of aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acid of grade 12 Maharashtra board chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about the physical properties and laboratory test for aldehydes and ketones. My name is Arpita Banerjee and you are watching Arpita classes. Let's get started. So in the physical properties first we do the nature of intermolecular forces. So when we look at the carbonyl group, this is the carbonyl group C double bond O. You already know that there is a lot of difference, electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen. Carbon is electropositive and oxygen is electronegative. Therefore, oxygen will be getting a very small amount of negative charge and carbon will be getting a very small amount of positive charge and this bond will be polar bond. So there will be dipole-dipole interaction between the aldehydes and ketones. So let us study this. The carbonyl bonds in aldehydes and ketones is a polar covalent bond. As a result, this compound contain dipole-dipole forces of attraction. This is important. They contain dipole-dipole forces of attraction. Also, you can see this is one carbonyl group and this is one carbonyl group. They orient themselves oppositely. Okay, so the molecules orient in such a way as to have oppositely polarized atoms facing each other so that they have a dipole-dipole interaction. There is a dipole-dipole interaction between these two and between these two. So we understand that because CO bond is a polar bond, therefore there is a dipole-dipole interaction in the aldehydes and ketones molecules. So this is about the nature of intermolecular forces. Next physical property is physical state. So here we need to remember some of the things. For example, formaldehyde. It is a gas at room temperature, okay, and it is, a, it is having irritating odor, okay. Next is acetaldehyde, the second member of aldehyde group is extremely volatile, it is extremely volatile, colorless liquid. Third is the other higher aldehydes as pleasant, they have pleasant odor and acetone is a liquid, acetone is a ketone, the first member of ketone series that is a liquid at room temperature and has pleasant odor but most of the ketones of the other ketones are having bad odor. So this is about the physical states of the aldehydes and ketones. You just need to remember some of them. We'll talk about the next physical property which is solubility of aldehydes and ketones. So whenever we talk about solubility and if any organic compound is soluble in water, we know the main reason is hydrogen bonding. If there is a hydrogen bonding between the organic compound and water, then that organic compound will be soluble in water. So the oxygen atom can involve in hydrogen bonding with water. So we understand that here the carbonyl group, carbonyl group, the oxygen atom of the carbonyl group, it is involved in the hydrogen bonding with water molecule. As a result of this, the lower aldehydes and ketones are soluble. Okay. The, so this is about the solubility. Next property, physical property is boiling points. About boiling points also, we know that boiling points are directly proportional to the molecular mass. Boiling points are directly proportional to the surface area of the molecule and boiling points are also, uh, they depend on the, yeah, so these are the two points, uh, molecular mass and surface area. So boiling points of aldehydes and ketones increases with molecular mass. So they will increase gradually with the molecular mass. So these are the uh, four physical properties we, we, which we need to know. So now we'll start with the chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones and the first chemical properties will be the laboratory test. So first laboratory test is for the aldehydes only. First is a Sheep's test. So when an alcoholic solution of aldehyde is treated, alcoholic solution of an aldehyde is treated with few drops of Sheep's reagent, okay, we see a pink or a red or a magenta coloration. This confirms the presence of aldehydic group. Okay, so alcoholic solution of aldehyde is treated with few drops of Sheep's reagent. We get either a pink color or a red or a magenta color appears, and then that will confirm the presence of an aldehyde group. Second test for aldehyde is Tollens test or silver pillar test. This is a very important test. Okay, when an aldehyde is boiled with Tollens reagent. What is Tollens reagent? It is ammoniacal silver nitrate solution is also called as Tollens reagent. Okay. So when an aldehyde is boiled with Tollens reagent, silver mirror is formed. It's a very important test. You have it in the practicals also. 
The aldehyde is oxidized to carboxylate ion. So here the, in the reaction, aldehyde is oxidized to carboxylate ion by Tollett's reagent and Ag plus ions are reduced to Ag. Because of this Ag, you get the silver mirror. In the, the side of the test tube, you can see the silver mirror. Okay. So what is the reaction? This is my aldehyde, RCHO. This is the aldehyde. And this is reacted with Tollens reagent. This entire thing is the Tollens reagent. Okay, this is called as Tollens reagent. We write it this way. Tollens reagent. Okay, Ag NH3 hold twice plus and 3 OH minus. Here the oxidation state of Ag is plus 1. Okay, and it hit it, boil. RCOO minus, this is a carboxylate ion. Carboxylate ion. So aldehyde is oxidized to this carboxylate ion and there is a precipitate of Ag. Okay, here the oxidation state of Ag is 0. This is a silver mirror. You can see by the side of the test tube, you can see a silver color that is a precipitate of Ag and 4 molecules of ammonia and 2 molecules of water is uh, liberated. Okay, this, this gives you the ammonia gas liberation then there is a lot of oxygen hydrogen so you get water. So this is the um, reaction of aldehyde with Tollens reagent which is very important to just remember this with the balancing. Okay, This will be there in the paper. Okay, So this is your Tollens reagent test for aldehydes and the last test is Fehling's test. Even this is very important. These both the tests are very important. These are the mild oxidizing agent. Also these two reagents oxidizes aldehyde to carboxylate ion but they will not be able to uh, do anything with the ketone they will be negative there will be negative test for tollens and phenyls for uh, ketone and these two tests will be the distinguishing test for aldehydes and ketones as well this we are going to see later on also so when a mixture of an aldehyde we are talking about the phenyl test now so when a mixture of an aldehyde and phenyl solution is boiled in hot water a red precipitate of cuprous oxide is formed and aldehyde is oxidized to carboxylate ion again by ferric solution and Cu2 plus ion is reduced to Cu plus ion. It may be noted that alpha hydroxy ketone also gives this positive test. Only the alpha hydroxy ketones will be giving this positive test. So this is your aldehyde here. This is our aldehyde and this is treated with ferric solution. This whole thing is my ferric ferric solution when they are boiled together you get carboxylate ion so the aldehyde is oxidized to carboxylate ion and we get Cu2O Q plus oxide it's a red precipitate we get and three molecules of water so here Cu is 2 plus and here copper is plus 1 so copper is reduced from plus 2 to plus 1 oxidation state okay so this is your Fehling's test with aldehyde now the next laboratory test is for ketones. This is called as sodium nitroprusside test. So when a freshly prepared sodium nitroprusside solution okay, is added to a ketone, it is added to a ketone, mixture is shaken nicely okay, and basified by adding sodium hydroxide solution drop by drop, red color appears. We see a red color in the solution which indicates the presence of ketonic group okay so this is my acetone which is a ketone this is base okay this is a base so first of all what happens is this base will be abstracting one of the hydrogen the hydrogen which is beside the carbonyl group is acidic in nature and this base will be abstracting one of the hydrogen and it will be forming water and this anion is formed CH3COCH2 minus because the hydrogen is gone so you get CH3COCH2 minus this anion is formed and then this is nitroprusside ion FeCN whole 5 no 2 minus this is uh, reacted with the anion of ketone to give you a red coloration we get a complex like this FeCN whole 5 no CH3COCH2 this is 2 minus this is minus so all together the charge will be 3 minus you can see the whole thing is added up See, this is FeCN whole 5 NO, this is nitroprusside ion and this is an ion from ketone. Just get, get them added up together. So, FeCN whole 5 NO, CSCO, CH2, 3 minus, this is your, this will give rise to red coloration. So, the anion of the ketone formed by alkali, the anion of the ketone formed by alkali reacts with nitroprusside ion to form a red colored complex which indicates the presence of ketonic group. So these are the laboratory tests of aldehydes and ketones which are very important. You need to remember all these reactions 
and with balancing. Now, in the next video, I'm going to come up with the uh, other chemical properties of aldehydes and ketones. Thank you so much. If you feel these videos are beneficial to you, please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Stay tuned.